In this video, I will talk about how to generate digital waveform for simulating digital communication techniques in MATLAB. For doing any simulation related to digital communication techniques, uh, one thing is uh, very fundamental and which we require is to generate a digital waveform. So in this video, we will talk about how to generate a digital waveform uh, into MATLAB. Before going to MATLAB, we we'll look at some fundamental properties of any digital waveform. So here is a digital waveform. It consists of two different things. Number first, number of the bit stream and how many samples each bit is taking. So uh, there are two different things. Number of bit and how many samples each bit is taking. With this information we will move further in MATLAB. In MATLAB, in MATLAB first we will define how many samples each bit will require. So we will define this by a variable chip length and we are taking a 32 sample for each bit. Then we will define how many total number of samples will be required to represent that digital waveform. So total length of the signal will be 112 samples. Out of this total number of samples 512 and we have each bit is taking 32 bit and uh, 32 samples so number of samples out of it uh, uh, will be calculated we will store this information in symbol number of symbols steel so um, in this way we will have we will be having total number of six different bits in our signal then uh, now we will uh, generate number of bits or uh, like a combination of one and zeros so there is a procedure for generating them uh, first we will generate a, a random sequence of 16 bits and each uh, number will be subtracted by 0 0.5 so after generating uh, the random numbers each number will be subtracted by 0 0.5 so some number will be above 0 and some number will be uh, below 0 but all the range will be from minus 0 0.5 to 0 and then we will convert uh, some numbers which are above 0 Plus two will replace them by one and which are below zero so I forget the L word And all those numbers which are below zero that will be replaced by minus one so if we plot now plot the symbol then we will find a various number a various combination of ones and zero has been generated so now in this case each this one and zero is represented by one single sample now the, our next task is to replace each single sample by a, a bit uh, bit length that was the 32 that means each sample will be replaced by or each bit will be replaced by 32 samples and then we will finally generate our signal so we will define our signal so zeros because our uh, signal will be having total number of 512 samples and now we will replace each uh, for each bit in symbol variable we will replace it by a 32 number of samples uh, in signal So uh, 
our signal is ready and we will look at our signal now we have generated a bit stream of ones and zeros but uh, right now you won't be able to see it accurately so uh, what we will do we will limit uh, the plot plot property so plot signal underscore l and then we will uh, replace axis and y axis will be from minus 2 to so that you are able to watch it if then we also give the title to it uh, signal waveform so finally our signal waveform is ready and if we run this code again and again the number of bit stream because we have used random signals so the number of ones and zero will be totally random and that will be very useful for verifying our algorithm for different communication techniques so that's it for this video thank you